Let me know when the camera's set. Set. Okay. Is this look to camera one? Okay, that's the crowd, please. All right. <laughs> now I'm breaking the ice here. <laughs> Okay, so was there ever a time that you felt like you failed? I had this situation when I'd left school at 16, I worked with this producer and he made me feel like I couldn't really do anything without him. At the time, I was juggling a night job at a local Polish restaurant and then during the day I'd spend my time writing music while my friends were living kind of normal 16 to 17 year old lives. This producer just thought he was God's gift to earth and I couldn't write by myself basically, I felt like I needed to rely on him. And before I knew it, I'd lost all my confidence with my songwriting. Songwriting to me was a therapy. I would write because I couldn't confront people or if I liked a guy or if I couldn't say what I really thought. But it got to a point where I'd look at a blank piece of paper and be nervous. Losing that and losing that form of expression was devastating. I felt like a complete failure. So what happened next? I got asked to come into this meeting at a publishing company and I was armed with like two songs. One was a voice memo and then the other I just brought my guitar in and was like, do you mind if I sing this song? <laughs> a week later I got a phone call from them that I definitely did not expect, asking if I'd want to be published by them and be recognised as a songwriter. This was nuts because it was music I wrote without that producer. This meant that I could afford to leave home. It meant that I could learn how to produce my own music, learn how to live by myself. It gave me time to heal and grow on my own terms. And more importantly, it gave me time to actually fall in love with music again. So Joy, looking back, would you still define this as a failure? No, I would define this as progression. This situation meant that I could become more self-sufficient, that I could grow a thicker skin, say no when I needed to say no. And as my dad says, as long as the trajectory is up, you've got to keep it moving through the highs and lows. That's a cut, thank you. Follow me on Bumble. <laughs>